19, example 1. In each of the following questions, the numbers in the third group must be related to each other in the same way as the numbers in each of the other two groups. Find the missing number. Well, this is another math style question. And as you can see, you're going to be given three sets of numbers. We've got this set, this set, and the third set, which is missing the middle number. And we need to find out what that is, because that's our answer. So they're saying that the number in the middle is made up in some way using the numbers on either side of it. So the number 12 is made up somehow using 3 and 4, and we need to work out how. And once we've worked it out, we need to see whether the same rule is used in the second set of brackets. Because once we've found the same rule that works for the first set and the second set, we'll then apply that rule to find our answer for the third set. So let's have a look. 3 and 4. You could try adding them together, but that only equals 7, so it doesn't equal 12. You could try taking one away from the other, dividing one by the other, but as you may have noticed, 3 times 4 equals 12. So in our first set, we've got to times the two numbers on either side of the brackets to get the number in the middle. Let's see if the same rule works in the second set. Does 7 times 5 equal 35? Yes, it does. So that's our rule. We just times the two numbers by each other. So to find our answer, 9 times 2 equals 18. Great. So in general, these questions look like this. They have three numbers, and we've called the number in the middle C, and the numbers on either side A and B. And the simple examples will work where you either add A and B to get C. So we've written it down here. C equals A plus B. Or you could take B away from A, or A away from B, as we've said. So C could be made up by A minus B, or C could be B minus A. Or you could times the two numbers by each other to get the number in the middle. So A times B could equal C. Or perhaps A divided by B, or maybe B divided by A to get C. And remember, in our example here, we used C equals a times b, because we times the two numbers on either side. Let's have a look at another type 19 example. In each of the following questions, the numbers in the third group must be related to each other in the same way as the numbers in each of the other two groups. Find the missing number. So here's our question. And you may remember from the uh, previous example that each of the groups can be written like this with the um, number in the middle, which we've called C, and the numbers on the outside of the square brackets, which we've called A and B. And our job is to find a rule so that we can find C using A and B. So here are just a few examples. So C can either be made from adding A and B, subtracting B from A, and these various other methods here that we showed in the last example. But what you might find is sometimes, using all of these methods, that none of them actually work, none of them actually give you the right answer. And the reason is because sometimes in type 19 questions, there are two steps before you get your answer. Now, the second step often involves either doubling, halving, adding A or B, so adding one of these outside, um, numbers to you to whatever you got or subtracting one of these outside numbers or we've, we've put plus Z or minus Z here basically we're just using Z to represent any number so once you've done your first step then you might have to add another number on top to get to your middle number okay so let's have a look at this particular example here so we need to find a way of getting 15 from these outside numbers so Let's have a look here. So if we add the outside number, so adding A and B, we get 6 plus 5 is 11. So that doesn't equal 15. Um, to get to 15, we'd have to add 4 on that. So maybe the rule is A plus B. And then the second step is to add 
4. So let's try that on this second group. So 3 plus 8 is 11, adding 4, well, that gives us 15, so it doesn't equal 12, so that's out of the question. Okay, let's uh, try another one. Well, I'll, actually, I'll tell you the answer to this one. Um, what we've got here is 6 times 5 is 30, that's our first step. So then our second step, in order to get to 15, we'd have to halve that. So I'll show you that rule actually works for the second pair as well, because we've got 3 times 8 is 24, divided by 2, or halving, gives us 12. So just to clarify, in our particular example, the first step is a times b, so 6 times 5 is 30, and the second step is to halve. Half of 30 is 15 to get our answer. So let's apply that rule to the third group to find our actual answer. So a times b is 7 times 4, which is 28, and then halving that is 14. And there's our answer. Type 19 can be tricky to get one's head around, so we're going to do a third example to help. The instructions are the same as for the previous two examples, and as you can see, there's a missing number in the third set that we need to find. We have to work out what rule is used to make 45 out of 10 and 5, and the same rule needs to be used to make 28 out of 3 and 11. And once we work out that rule, we need to use 6 and 4 in the same way to make our answer. Some of these questions can be answered in just one step, such as either adding the two numbers, timesing them, subtracting one from the other, or dividing one by the other. However, as in this example, some of the questions need a second step. So even if you've tried each of these and you don't get to the answer in the middle, don't give up. You just need to do a second step to, to reach that middle number. So for example, we can try 10 plus 5, which is 15, which as you can see doesn't reach the number in the middle. So then you need to think, well, what can happen to get up to that number? And you could try adding 30, because 15 plus another 30 would take you up to that number. But then let's see if that works for the second set. So the rule would be to add the two numbers, which would give us 3 plus 11 makes 14, and 14 plus 30 would equal 44, which is not 28. So it doesn't actually work for the second set of brackets, therefore we can't use that rule. So we need to look for another one. Now, just looking at the numbers before we go on, we've got 10 and 5, and we need to get to 45. 45 is quite a lot bigger than 10 and 5, so more than likely, timesing the two numbers would help us get there. So 10 times 5 equals 50, which isn't quite the number. What do we have to do to 50 to get to 45? Well, we need to take away 5, because 50 take away 5 is 45. So the rule would be timesing the two numbers by each other and then taking away 5, which could be thought of as taking away another one of the numbers on the right, because that is a 5 as well. So let's see what happens when we try it in the second set of numbers. So we're going to do 3 times 11, which gives us 33, but then 33, what would you have to do to 33 to get to 28? It's actually just take away 5. So we don't want to take away another one of these numbers on the right. We don't want to take away 11. We just want to take away 5. So in fact, our rule is, first of all, step 1 times the two numbers by each other. And then step 2, instead of taking away b, which you may have thought it was, in other words, instead of taking away another one of the numbers on the right, we actually just have to take away a number, and in our case, that number is 5, because our rule then in both brackets is times the two outside numbers, 
take away 5. Times the two outside numbers, 3 times 11 is 33. Take away 5 gives you 28. So now we can use that same rule to find our answer. Times the two numbers, so 6 times 4 is 24. Take away 5 gives us 19, and our answer is 19. Thank you.